On Friday, NVIDIA's market value ended at over $2 trillion. As the AI boom continues, NVIDIA's shares continue growing for their eighth straight week, the company having an initial value of about $350 billion in 2023. In 2022, Biden's administration introduced export restrictions on NVIDIA AI chips to both China and Russia for fear of military application. In 2021, Hong Kong made up about 26% of the company's revenue. The initial ban allowed the manufacturing of H100 chips in China, but restricted the purchasing. It also allowed the exporting of A100 chips to China. Eventually, the A100 chips were also restricted. In 2023, NVIDIA put out the A800 GPU, which was an alternative to the A100 and was slower in terms of interconnecting speeds. This would reduce their networking abilities for running large AI models and would allow China to purchase their chips. In October of 2023, Biden's administration also restricted the sale of A800 and H800 chips that were specifically made for the Chinese market. Commerce Department Secretary Gina Raimondo said these restrictions would be updated annually and are an attempt to limit China's access to semiconductors that would fuel breakthroughs in artificial intelligence and sophisticated computers that are critical to military applications. She said that this wasn't an economic attack, which seems weird since America's number one growing resource is AI and NVIDIA's chips fuel that boom. With growing restrictions, the domestic market in China is trying to keep up. Huawei, Hygon Information Technology, and more threads are trying to rise up to meet the demand. NVIDIA is also trying to make chips to fit the ever-growing restrictions. In essence, America controls the market on AI chips from NVIDIA. A friend recommended that I make this video, so I do take news requests, so if there's any stories you want me to cover, let me know.